And with half a loaf of bread and this bag of frozen broccoli, I shall feed you all. What the fuck? That's like nothing. Yeah, watch this. Dar Man. He is a man of Dar, and he makes cringy acted out life lesson videos on YouTube.com. He's an orphan. Isn't that right, orphan boy? I'd be surprised if you're not familiar, pretty much every commentary channel has made a video on him before, that it's almost become a rite of passage for me to do the same. Did you know rite of passage is spelled R-I-T-E and it's not actually the rite of passage? I just learned that now reading my script. Am I the idiot? Anyways, today we're not gonna be talking about Darman. No, we're gonna be talking about quite possibly the laziest Darman copycat on the platform. Oh my God, he said the title of the video. And their channel name is Totally Studios. I'm not positive, are those studios? I'm just not sure, are those studios? Oh no, no, those are Totally Studios. Those are Totally Studios. And look, Darman's videos might be over the top and cringy, but at least there's effort put into them. They use real sets, the lessons are mostly agreeable, and the acting has even somewhat improved since I've last seen them. But none of those statements can be said the same for Totally Studios, which seems to be the drop shipped version of Darman's entire channel. Very few sets, it's mostly green screen, the situations are even less believable, and the acting is insultingly bad. I'm offended by how bad the acting is. I guess I found who took my boots. Yeah, I guess someone did take them. I guess you really never know who your true friends are. You're telling me she just slap pushed them both in the pool with one hand? Bullshit. I guess you never really know who your true friends are. Oh, I realize I just hit your boob. I'm so sorry. I had meant to push you. The sound effect guy added a slap for some reason. Now I'm the bad guy. I'm so sorry. Now I first heard of this awful channel when Cody Ko mentioned them in his Darman Copycats video. Here's another one. Totally Studios. Totally Studios. What are you guys, a studio or something? Totally. Hey, I already made that joke. When Cody referenced this channel last year, it only had 18,000 subs, and today it's over half a mil, and their videos do insane views. In fact, out of all the Darman ripoff channels, they are without a doubt doing the best right now, because whereas the others might go for Facebook moms like Darman, Totally Studios actually aims their videos exclusively at kids. And they don't even really try to hide it. Farting kid kicked out of school. Crazy ending. Okay, maybe not just kids. I thought that was pretty funny too. This whole video's lesson is to feel bad for people with lactose intolerance, but I'm sorry if you rip ass that casually in the hallway for that long, I would kick you out of school too. Or what about this one? Kid becomes Roblox billionaire after account deleted. Dylan, why are you hanging out with this Roblox noob? He's not a noob. Yeah, I'm better than you. Oh really? Well, how many Robux do you got? More than you. I got 800 for my birthday. Sir, you're 28 years old. Please stop coming to the school computer lab. We will call the police. So whereas Darman might pick culturally relevant topics or relationship-based ideas for his videos, Totally Studio says, fuck that, what will kids click on? Thrown off plane for poppy playtime in real life with Huggy Wuggy and Mommy Long Legs? Yeah, that's perfect. Now bullshit that into some nonsensical plot line of a mom who starts hallucinating poppy playtime video game characters being passengers on her flight and we got ourselves a banger. But while that video is also abhorrent, today I wanted to watch a different video with you guys called Kids Sneak Candy on a Plane from a Chocolate Factory. Do they get in trouble for it? Sorry, kids sneak candy on a plane from a chocolate factory. Do they get in trouble for it? So let's jump right in this video. Let's let's backflip right into this video. Shall we triple half gainer into this video? Let's do it. And this concludes our tour of the chocolate factory, and now you know how these are made. Is this where we get the samples? Mom. Uh, no, ma'am. We do that in the gift shop. But they all look so delicious and fresh. Yeah, and they're right there. Okay, I guess one little taste wouldn't hurt. I mean, come on, they're right there. Such real candy is right there. So the first thing you'll notice is the editing for this is absolutely abysmal. No, you're not experiencing tectonic plates shifting and shaking the earth beneath you. That is an effect called camera shake that they willingly chose to put on every clip in the video, which gets nauseating when every clip is against a stationary green screen backdrop. But don't worry, they'll intermix this with some B-roll of factory workers operating machinery to ground us back in their reality, despite the never ending earthquake. What are you kids doing? What do you mean, Grandma? He said we could have one. That's not what I'm talking about. What do you mean, Grandma? Take them all!
Okay, I was wrong. That actually was real candy. I'm just very used to their low production value and I prejudged, I'll admit it. Pretty low standard I set thinking that they were too lazy to get real candy for their videos, but never mind that. The next thing you'll notice is that the pacing is just a bit off. Take them all. Pause and then show the entire clip of them taking the candy bars one at a time as if they're bank robbers. You know, you could just kind of one arm slide the chocolate bars into your backpack. They're not made of solid gold. But regardless, the kids just stole candy at their morally corrupt grandma's behest and now they gotta play it off to mom. So, did you get your samples? Yeah, we got lo lovely. It was lovely. That doesn't even make sense. We got lovely. It was lovely. They can't even get the cheesy trope of cutting off sentences right. Yeah, mom, we stole lots of can- Cremation. We stole lots of cremation. We have many urns with ashes in them that we stole. Whew, oh, good save, grandma. I saw someone taking candy into that big room over there. Oh, that's our candy warehouse. Oh, can we tour that too? No, I'm sorry, ma'am. We don't do tours of that. Oh, it's on my bucket list to tour a candy warehouse. Can't we just peek for a minute? Granny is trying to steal all the candy. An entire factory's worth of candy. I don't know what her motive is. Is she this desperate for free snacks? Even the grandson is making a face. Like, what the fuck are you on about, you senile thief? Are we really lying to this tour guide that seeing a candy warehouse is on your bucket list? The same bucket you're about to kick next week? You're 85, Mima. Why are we stealing candy? All I know is that if they move as slow as they did grabbing 15 candy bars, I do not think this heist is gonna be very successful. Okay, but just for a minute. Okay, kids, let's go. Bad Grandma wants lots of free candy and is using the kids to get it. Yeah, we could see that. We could tell. that We absolutely already knew that. Get used to Dora stopping to explain what just happened. Remember, Totally Studios does not respect your average kid's intelligence. Well, you know what? I don't respect theirs. Why is this video called Kid Sneak Candy on Plane from Chocolate Factory? It should be called Old Ruthless Grandma Pressures Her Grandchildren to Break the Law for a Sweet Tooth Addiction. Amazing title, by the way. I'm a free agent if you need more ideas. Cameron. You go that way. Cody, you go that way. And I'm gonna go that way. Uh, the candy was behind you. Kids, you got any more of those samples? Oh yeah, Grandma, we got lots. Ooh. What's with all this candy? Mom, they gave us a bunch of samples at the chocolate factory. A bunch of samples? They said you could have one. Oh, honey, that's just a serving suggestion. We'll see about that. What's that supposed to mean? We'll see about that? How are you gonna see about that? It already happened. The tour guide said take one each, and you were there. You got them. That, it wasn't a serving suggestion. He said take one, and they took more than one. They do this a lot, where it seems like they just pull random cringy dialogue from Disney Channel TV shows, but they don't really bother to put them in the right spots. They said you could have one. Oh, honey, who's supposed to be my daughter but looks the same age as me, that's just a serving suggestion. Oh, yeah? And what are you gonna do about it? Huh? No more Mr. Nice Mom. Are you just saying generic TV quotes from the early 2000s? Coach said the fake right, break left, watch out for the pick, and keep your eye on the fence. So mom's broken. Do you guys want to go back and steal more candy? We'll see about that. Come on, kids. We're in a hurry. Mom, why are we in baggage claim? The planes are up there. That's the way everyone goes. This is a shortcut. You see, if we crawl into the baggage claim carousel, we can get out on the other side. That's where the hidden boost and mystery box is. And then they'll let us right into the plane in first class. Now that is a real thing in life, but it was actually a misdirection by mom so she could borrow their bags and find the candy that they stuffed them with. Just what I thought. And just like how they filled their bags up, mom makes sure to empty them as slow as possible. Yeah, I'm gonna make you watch. Just you and me. Just turn the bag upside down, damn it, would you? So mom just threw all the samples away. Mom just threw all the samples away? Sh shut up, Dora. I already told him that. And it's at this time that we're introduced to subplot B of a man also on their plane in need of a kidney transplant. And his name is Mr. Uh, Mr. 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 Here we are, Mr. Knickerbocker. That. I don't know why we're flying. Well, you only wanted the best, that's why we're going to Chicago for your surgery. It's just a new kidney!
can't they do it at the doctor's office? Is it common for one to fly with their new kidney, just kind of storing it in a mini fridge with them? They don't ship it separately? I don't know, it just doesn't really seem like something that should be allowed to be put in your carry-on. I get flagged at TSA for a cologne bottle and this guy can bring a spare organ onto the flight? But he's got this little refrigerator that's got the replacement kidney inside. Well, in that case, I'll be sure to fly extra carefully. I'll be sure to fly extra carefully so that kidney doesn't start sloshing about the plane. That'd be pretty gross. Happens every time I fly spirit. But back to the kids who are having a major sugar rush off that candy and are starting to tick off their mom. Kids! What, mom? What's wrong? What? Gosh, mom, get off her case. We're just playing two foot volleyball pass like kids do. So we fit within the green screen limits. Jeez Louise, you never let us have any fun. Where the hell did we even get this volleyball from? Why are you kids so hyped up? You know why they're all hyped up. You just found all that candy in their bags. Remember? You good? Can't you tell? They just excited to travel. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we're bored. Why don't you sit down and play a game? I have chutes and ladders. What? Where are these things coming from? What? <laughs> you just had chutes and ladders on you? Can this family just instantly spawn objects? There was no need to steal any candy if you could have just manifested it into existence. This whole time they're just stealing for fun. It's not even necessary, just, just for the thrill. Just to see if Granny still got what it takes. It's either that or they also must have went to a volleyball and board game factory because there's no way these kleptomaniacs paid for either of those. I was kind of hungry for some candy anyway. Ooh, give me some. The candy! It's gone! What happened to it? I told you kids, no candy allowed on this trip. <sighs> it's too bad you don't have any other candy. Real subtle, Grandma. I'm telling you, everyone in this universe has a concussion. It's like an alternate universe where like everything is the same as ours, except they are also concussed. Or else people would immediately be on to grandma's candy stealing schemes and these kids would have realized, oh yeah, when mom took our backpacks with her to the bathroom for no reason, that was to dump out our candy. Why else did you think she took them with her? Everyone has concussions. That is my Matt Pack game theory on the Totally Studios anti-cinematic universe. Back to subplot B. I don't feel so good. Oh really? What are your symptoms? I'll beat them out of you with my stethoscope. I'm feeling woozy and I hear loud noises. Woozy? How long has it been since dialysis? This morning! Did you bring my pills? You know, I was kind of shitting on the acting before, but I feel like they might have actually grabbed a crazy homeless dude for this guy because he's pretty believable. He's doing quite well. I mean, he's even got a little fly hanging out around him. This guy's pretty method. He came to set just smelling like hot garbage and they're like, yep, yep, sit right there. Yep, $5 just like we agreed upon. And oh, your Ziploc bag of Cheeto dust. Okay, just be crazy. Just do you. And despite this stellar performance in typical lazy Totally Studios fashion, they ruin the next shot and it's completely out of focus for several seconds, but they still keep it in because oh, we don't got time for reshoots. Uh, Mr. Beast just made a Chocolate Factory video last month. We need to capitalize on that video title relevancy as fast as possible. You've got candy. I was just having a little sample. Sample? I thought we already got rid of those. Oh, I don't know where the kids got it. Concussions. They all have concussions. Are you saying the kids have candy? No, dear. It's right here. The backpacks. The backpacks. Wait, didn't she already check those? Oh no, but she only checked the little outside pocket and not the main backpack compartment. Really? Is that what we're going with? Dang it, those kids outsmarted me again by hiding their candy in multiple areas of their backpack. No mom, I think that was just you not being thorough in your check, but I guess whatever extends the length of the video, we're 10 minutes in and it's not even halfway done yet. Did this need to be this long? Please? I'm losing my mind. So she finds the kids, makes them give up their remaining candy, and drops another classic line of dialogue. That's the way you're supposed to raise kids these days. I don't even have a joke. I just, that line, I don't even understand it. Who, why she said it to her own kids after she took the candy. Who's writing this? We're gonna be boarding shortly. 
Are you gonna need any special assistance? It's been a while since Mr. Knickerbocker has had his dialysis. Is he gonna be all right on the flight? You're his nurse. Why are you asking the flight attendant that? Shouldn't you know if he's gonna be okay? Um, yeah, so my patient has been off dialysis for two weeks now. Is he gonna make it, flight attendant lady? I'm no professional, but I don't think he will be. By the looks of it, he's currently having Vietnam War flashbacks. It says right here that you're supposed to have a special medication for him. Yes, I have his glucose right here. But we only have three left. <laughs> two, two... One left. Okay, so you are officially the world's worst nurse. This man is on a flight for an immediate kidney transplant upon arrival, and you brought a total of three glucose pills for him? I bring more Advil on flights with me than that, and I'm not at risk of kidney failure. It's gonna be pretty embarrassing when you have to stop the plane to ask if there's a doctor on board when you're wearing full scrubs. Back to the kids, mom has caught them with yet another backpack of candy. Because this back and forth apparently isn't old yet and still hasn't run its course. And then Granny, because she's weirdly obsessed with her grandchildren eating as much candy as possible, gives them her credit card for the gift shop. I'd like to get a new magazine for the flight. Oh, well, that's all right, Mom. Kids, could you get it for me? You mean at the gift shop? Gift shop? Here, take my credit card. You know what? Just put it into my purse. Usually in kids shows, you'll have stereotypical characters with one personality trait, like the mean bully, the nerd, the pretentious cheerleader. But Granny's one personality trait is just candy and consuming as much of it as possible. No ulterior motives, just where is the candy? I need the candy. I'll say it, how is she not dead yet? Does she do this daily? You see kids, life is like a box of chocolates. Literally, I eat a box of chocolates every single day of my life. Oh, look, they have cute neck pillows. That's not what Grandma wants. Oh, right, magazines. I know what she really wants. What she really, really wants. I'll tell you what she wants, what she really, really wants. As much candy in her purse as humanly possible. So the candy has been secured and the flight is finally taking off with an absolute chad of a pilot. Passengers, welcome to Totally Airlines Flight 445 with service to Chicago. I'm Captain Connors and I'll be your chauffeur today. Or Chad of a chauffeur. I've never really heard of a pilot refer to themselves as that before. Now, I just love the set design for the plane here. Them and their DX racers with the hand towels over them to block the brand name. And then for the forward-facing shots, you might notice in the background, their chairs are facing the wrong direction. Maybe the chauffeur thing was right, and it's one of those limo planes that totally exists at Totally Studios, where all the seats face different directions, and the pilot has one of those windows he can push down to talk to people in the back. Hey, you guys need snacks back there? Oh, you already have all the candy from the gift shop? Okay. Is that man dead? Oh no, you're his nurse with one pill of glucose left? You know this flight's eight hours long, yeah? So the kids ask grandma if they could read her magazine, but before she hands it over, she loud as fuck shoves a bunch of candy into it while mom is still oblivious, and now even the kids aren't even trying to keep it hidden anymore. Look at the latest design articles for fall. This puts me in the mood for Halloween. Something's Fishy. More concussions. That's the only way to explain it. For, for God's sakes, now they're playing Django on an airplane. In what reality is that a thing? But luckily, Mom being the Sherlock Holmes she is, a real super sleuth, catches the candy scheme for the sixth time today. But uh-oh, she tries to put the candy in the overhead bin, and there was more candy up there that spills all over her. That was weirdly violent, how hard the candy rained on her to get that scream. Ah, sugar gumdrops, ow. Anyways, we're approaching the end of the story and I think you might know which way it's going. Dialysis dude just passed out and his nurse is all out of glucose pills trying to wake him up. Wake up, Mr. Knickerbocker, wake up. Everyone looks up like, well, hold on. Did she just say what we think she said? <laughs> My dude's like, say it again. I wanna make sure I heard you right. I mean, look, there's an off chance this man's last name just happens to sound like a racial epithet or some Karen is trying to kick off a black man from the plane. No, sorry, that's the name of this other video from them called Karen Kicks Off Black Man From Plane. I got confused. I got your page. Is everything okay? No, it's not. Is there a doctor in the house? Ma'am, this is a plane. At least it's supposed to be a plane. I know the set around you might be confusing for even you to believe that, but could you at least try for me? Attention passengers, due to a medical situation on board, we'd like to know if there's a doctor in the house. Oh my fucking god. I'm a doctor? How can I help? We have a passenger, the 23A, Knickerbocker. He's not responsive. Thank you for letting me know. I'll go check on him. 
Someone is dying. Thank you for telling me that. I, a very real doctor, will look into it. I'm a doctor. What seems to be the issue? My patient is flying to Chicago for a kidney transplant. His heart rate is really low and he's not responsive. When's the last time he had dialysis? About 10 hours ago. Looks like he's an arrhythmia. Look, I'm no doctor, and neither is this guy clearly, and I could be wrong, but isn't arrhythmia just an irregular heartbeat? Can one be in arrhythmia, or do you just have slash are having arrhythmia? Because I think that's just what it's referred to, not a state of being. Plus, moreover, how the fuck does he know he has arrhythmia without checking his heartbeat? He hasn't even, he could be dead for all he knows. <laughs> we have a medical situation on board, and we have an unusual request. Has anybody brought any sugary snacks on board? This story is so fucking stupid. The candy they had was just what they needed to glucose this guy up and save his life, of course. Oh my goodness. This will make all the difference. Look at what these fellow passengers had. Perfect, thank you. And trust me. There's a lot more where that came from. Like so much more. Like no one should have that much candy on them. It's like they bought out an entire gift shop's worth of candy. These people are crazy. Well, the glucose, sugar, and the candy brings the man back to life and they all land alive and healthy. Well, maybe not grandma. I think her days are numbered. Congratulations, kids. You're heroes. Aw, thanks. It was actually all grandma. Oh, shucks. Now let that be a lesson to you. Always carry candy. <laughs> <laughs> That's the lesson, always carry candy. So it was completely cool that they stole all that candy because you never know if someone on dialysis getting a kidney transplant is around and might need you to spike their glucose with several of your candy bars. Got it, okay, right. Mind you, that was a 21 minute video and that was the lesson learned. And in retrospect, is mom the bad guy then? Because she was trying to stop them from getting more candy and throwing it away. That's what it seems like, and it's definitely a strange moral to teach kids. Hey, your mom's trying to stop you from only packing candy on your vacation? Well, how about you let her know that she's actively killing people? And that's the whole video. That's, it just ends right there. That was it. On the about page of their website, they say, whether it's high school drama, wild plane trips, or tales from everyday home life, we aim to bring you the type of content that uplifts and entertains. We're constantly searching for the best stories and the most relatable characters to bring to your screen. Like who is behind this that legitimately thinks that this is relatable content to people? Because we need to get them psych evaled immediately. Anyways, that's the video today, my candy kleptos. Be sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Follow me on Instagram for daily content. Go check out my Patreon if you wanna support me directly. And my biggest call to action today is why don't you go join the Discord in the description below. We're trying to get it more active, more community, a place where you guys can interact with other fans as well as myself and kind of have a part to play in the direction of the channel. So go check it out, join today, and say what's up when you join. But with all that said, good day. And remember to always carry candy on you, just, just in case. Don't move too slow. Fine line between